الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين عن عبد الله ابن عمر ابن العاص رضي الله عنه عبد الله his father is Amr ibn al-As. These are great names in Islam. Amr ibn al-As is the one that brought Islam to Egypt under the instruction of Umar ibn al-Khattab. So Amr ibn al-As then came with him, Abdullah ibn al-Zubayr, and this giant of Islam, they came to Egypt. And the Egyptians were celebrating. When they came, and they came down the Nile, Egypt has the Byzantine Empire, the Roman Empires, have some puppets in Egypt. So the Egyptian, the Coptic in Egypt, they were not ruling, they were slaves also. They pay 60%, 80% tax, if they ever you know, own anything from the land. So when they heard about the Muslim, only 4,000, subhanAllah, so only 4,000 came to empire. And the other 4,000 were in uh, surrounding Jerusalem where the real throne, the jewel of the Byzantine Empire was there with Ubaidullah ibn Jarraha. So when Amr came with his army, they surrounded the city, which is all f fortresses by the Roman Byzantine army. The Muslim come to remove this oppression. The Muslim, when they will go, they will give three days of warning, three days of advice. We come here to give the people the rights. Just let us meet the people of the land, the owner of this land, the indigenous people. We come to teach them the right, to keep them from slavery to, to freedom. And obviously the oppressors, they never agree. Yeah? So Amr ibn al-As and his army surround this village and for their, you know, happened the queen or the princess were there in that place at the time. And when the Muslim, you know, victorious, they, they were caught, all these women of the palace. And Amr ibn al-As appointed Muslim caravan, Muslim, you know, 40, 50 of them to protect them, to guard them. And they heard the princess inside. When they were terrified, it's a wartime, terrified. And she said, and it's written in the books, I am safer now, I feel safer now with these pious, righteous people than with my own bodyguards. Don't worry, don't be sad. Don't be sad. And they talk her, honor her from there all the way to the palace of her father in a different city, protecting all the way, delivered safely. The negotiation started and he, they sent, you know, yeah. So this is, this is uh, very, when we mention the name Amr ibn al-As, his son Abdullah, the Prophet had to tell him, stop praying too much. <laughs> stop fasting too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, the Prophet himself says to him, you young and strong now, but you're going to live for a long time and you're going to be able to do this. He's fasting every day. He's praying every night for hours on. And he tells the Prophet, just give me permission. I just love fasting. I love praying at Hajjot. The Prophet says, you can't keep up. Don't, don't take it like that. Take a day on, day off. Then the Prophet, he agreed. He said, okay, I'll take a day on, day off. Fasting alternate day every day. And he actually grew old, very old. And he says, I wish I listened to the advice of the Prophet. 70, 80 years old, can't fast every day. So he will break the fast for two weeks to get energy and fast for a few days. Break the fast. Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al As, when he got married, this is the most famous story. His father came in the morning to check and the family you know normally, you know, after the wedding day, they come to celebrate and they ask, they ask the wife, how is Abdullah? She said, he is very good to Allah. <laughs> he didn't even know he got married. What happened? He says, you, everybody left and he said to me, make wudu, pray behind me, we're going to pray together. And he started, he finished at Surah Al-Kahf. Fajr time, 16 Jews. In his, in his wedding night. 
he loves Allah more than women, more than wife, more than wedding, more than dunya, more than really, really, really like this. So when you hear the hadith, with the, this name is 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 a huge galaxy in Jannah, not just a star. And he narrated hadith. What the definition of the Muslim? He says the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Al Muslim." Do you want to know who a Muslim is? No, a Muslim, the, the Muslim person. The Muslim person? Who is a Muslim? We're Muslim? What is today Fox News, CNN, TV1, TV3, when they say Muslim, we hold our heart in our heart. Oh, what happened? What, what again? The Prophet ﷺ said, Al Muslim, man salim al nas min lisanihi wa yadih. The Muslim, that people are safe from his tongue and from his hand. This is the definition of the Muslim. He will never hurt people by his tongue. Not on the news, not in TV, not in the paper, not on social media, not in Facebook, not in mess. He won't hurt people. He won't hurt people. So he think before he speaks because the Prophet Sallallahu said, true believer, the one who believes in Allah and hereafter, he will only speak good. Or, of course, if he doesn't hurt them with his tongue, he will never hurt them with his hand or her hand. This is the definition of Muslim. This is the, what people need to know. Our, colleague, our people, our, you know, that we deal with, said, this is the definition of Islam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala apply this to us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us true believers, true Muslims who won't hurt each other. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for our mistakes and shortcomings. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us of the best of today and the best of every day after that and protect us from any harm in today and any harm after that.